My name is Kate Royal. I'm a Go to Nations missionary. I'm based in Burkina Faso, West Africa. It's the third poorest country in the world. The temperature is really hot in this month. It will be at over 115, 120. We only have rain for about four months a year. There's hardly any electricity, hardly any water. There's raw sewerage everywhere. I work with the street boys, the beggar boys, with their tins, their cans, who get sent out to beg. They're called garabu. They come from a village. They can come as young as five-year-old, between five and early 20s. They get sent to a marabou to live with, and he sends them out on the roads to beg. He gets them up at about five o'clock in the morning, and they chant by rocking backwards and forwards. They don't know what they're doing. If they get it right, at about half past eight, they get rewarded by going out on the streets to beg for him. And you can see them walking up and down the roads, and they are dark. They, they are, their faces are dark inside, and you can just see this dark doom and gloom coming out, this blackness, and they are so dull and almost, their faces are almost lifeless. It's really sad. And then, of course, the marabou doesn't want them. They're not bringing any money home for him. So they get tossed out. So at that point, the boys either have to go back out on the road, and they're probably going to become beggars again, or they, they come to us. This is called Kids of Hope. And they come through the gate, and they know that as they come through that door, that gate, they've got the love of God just pours on them, and it's just so awesome seeing them. They come in and they drop their cans, and they just run across. Some of them will just collapse and go to sleep. Others will just lie down and they love you. And they come to us for a few days just to sit and just to talk or play a game because they're not used to having attention. They have a hot meal every day. They have the opportunity to do carpentry and um, to do leather work. So our goal is that they will learn to read and write. But most of all, they're learning to take it in turns. They're just feeling the love of God and the joy of God coming on them. And, um, but then we're getting boys who, who are just changing just so dramatically. It might take weeks, days, months, years, but they will come up and ask, how do we get our ticket to go to heaven? Because Kids of Hope goal is that we will be part of ridding Burkina Faso of street boys. Yes, they don't want to be rubbish. In England and America, they are called rubbish and slum, you know, in the gutters and in the, you know, they're just nothing. But these boys, these are God's next generations of pastors, preachers and evangelists. The honor of working for God. It's just the love of, love of being out there. The excitement of seeing what you're doing and how you are part of changing these boys' lives for the Lord. This is just, you can't put it into words. It is really, really exciting and I'm just so honoured and appreciative for what God has done.